26 races down, 10 to go. We have officially made it to the postseason, and we're going to do things a little bit different in the War Room in 2018. Instead of going all the way to Miami, we are going to focus on this first edition of the War Room, just going from 16 to 12. So many firsts in this round one. The first time that we've been to Las Vegas twice in the season. The first time that we're going to have two short tracks in the playoffs, and certainly the first time that we've had a form of a road course in the playoffs. So I, I'm I can't wait to get this round started. Totally different equipment that you take to every one of those. So it's going to really uh, put a lot of pressure on the teams to have good programs in all three of those platforms. Uh, and no doubt about it, it's going to be a pressure cooker. I like Richmond so much because of the super speedway speeds we have at that short track. So it's going to be a great first round, and that Roval is going to put an exclamation point on the end of round one. Has the Roval now replaced Talladega? as the biggest wild card in the postseason, do you guys think? You're going to want to go into that race with a win and have yourself locked in. So this that's going to put an extra emphasis on both Las Vegas and Richmond to make sure that you have that win so you don't have to worry about that. The Roval is going to give these guys a lot of heartburn. It's time to start moving drivers from round one to round two. We all feel comfortable moving the 18 and four to the round of 12. Is that right? You don't even have to ask. Okay. <laughs> Things that Kyle Busch has done during uh, certain phases of this regular season looked unbeatable. And at times, Harvick looked the same way. Can we go ahead and move the, the 78 to the round of 12? Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, no question. All right. There's Truex. Brad Keselowski won the final two races of the regular season. Can we move Brad on? Yes, that's what okay. he's, got, he's got it going on right now. Clint Boyer won a couple of races in the regular season. We know how strong Stuart Haas has been. Do we feel comfortable the 14 will advance from the 16 to the 12? I think that's another team right there that if they get hot, they can be streaky and really could make some noise. 22 going on? He's going. Confident? I feel yeah, more confident. confident today than maybe I did a couple of months ago. They're back on track, I think. How about Kurt Busch, who won late in the regular season, Regan, at, at Bristol, and, and really throughout the years had pretty good speed at Stuart Haas. You know, to me, Kurt's, Kurt's a guy that we have to really put in that consideration of possibly being that fourth guy within the big three. The way that he's performed this year, the consistency they've had, I think he's a no-brainer. Chase Elliott won at Watkins Glen. You feel good about him getting to the second round? I do. I think the Chevrolets have gained a lot, especially lately, and I see some, some performance in, in the RCR cars and in the Hendrick cars, and I think Chase is probably the best one in the bunch. That is the only Chevy that's in the playoffs that I personally have a lot of confidence in, even in this first round. Our goal today to go from 16 to 12. We have four spots left. I have three drivers up here on the board. Who do you have most confidence in? Kyle Larson, Denny Hamlin, Eric Jones. Who would you move first? Larson. I believe I'd go with Larson. I believe Larson not only can be a threat for this round or will be in this round, could be a threat to be over there in Miami. Are we leaving anyone out? Or right now, should the debate focus on Jones and Hamlin? Well, I'm gonna make a, a case for my guy. Austin Dillon, he you know won the Daytona 500. He's going to be good at, at maybe at Talladega if he can make it to that round. If I vote with this, no question, the three car moves on. If I vote with this, I just I struggle. Two top five finishes all year oh, long. Man. I know, I know. I got a lot of energy for Eric Jones. Really strong at Indy. Uh, he's moved to that new organization, and then he's learned the Joe Gibbs racing ways. It's peaking at the right time to be a real threat in these playoffs. I think that Eric Jones can be one of those cars that really surprises us as we get further on in the playoffs. If I've got to choose between Denny Hamlin and Eric Jones right now, I think I've got to go with Denny Hamlin. So we all agree. Both guys from Joe Gibbs racing moving on. Eric Jones, Denny Hamlin? I agree. Good with that. Yep. Haven't mentioned seven-time champion Jimmy Johnson yet. I just can't make myself not move. Jimmy Johnson and Chad Knauss, 83 wins, seven championships. For me, the biggest concern with the 48 is, is that they're not even the second best car within their company right now. I feel like Alex Bowman, who is on the board right here still and we haven't even talked about, he's the second best car within that company right now. Great job, first year full time in the 88. He made the playoffs, but with no playoff points, they have not shown the signs we need to see to advance the round of 12. Ryan Blaney from Team Penske, a bit of a sleeper, has led a lot of laps this year despite the fact he's not been able to get to victory lane. To me, Ryan Blaney this year has had the most speed of the guys that we're sitting here looking at consistently We've seen him up front. We've seen him lead laps. I'd like picking the car with the speed, that, and that's why I think Ryan Blaney gets through. 
Eric Almirola has still not been a part of this conversation. I'm hard pressed on Almirola. I know he's in a Ford. I know he's at Stuart Haas Racing. He has one playoff point. He has one top five finish all year long. I'm just not sure Almirola is going to move to the next round. I think just because of the Stuart Haas connection, I believe that they're going to have, they're going to be really strong. I mean, they're going to be strong coming into the playoffs. I would choose him. If I had to break the tie between Almirola and Johnson, I would go the route of Eric Almirola. This guy's got no pressure, but yet he's in the playoffs and as confident as he's ever been in the history of his career. We've got it down to 12, and I'm sure that we, we missed a few, but here are the dozen drivers we say that will move to the second round of the playoffs. Kevin Harvick, Kyle Busch, Truex, Keselowski, Boyer, Logano, Kurt Busch, Chase Elliott, Kyle Larson, Eric Jones, Denny Hamlin, and Eric Almarola. That means we're sending four drivers to the house, three from the Chevy camp. Seven-time champion Jimmy Johnson, his teammate Alex Bowman, the three of Austin Dillon, and the 12 of Ryan Blaney. We'll be back in the war room in three weeks to figure out what we got right, what we got wrong, and we'll also take it from 12 to 8. <laughs>